Solid. So today we're going to be talking about the grammar found in stage eight of the Red Book. All right, you can follow along on page 130 with some example sentences. All right, so up until this point in our Latin career, when we've been dealing with nouns and specifically with direct objects, we've seen sentences like these. Ankila kenam koli, the slave girl cooks the dinner. Servus kibum porta, the slave carries the food. Mater canem enet, the mother buys the dog, right? But now in stage eight, we're starting to see the ability to add plurals to that. So we have ankilai kenas kokut, the slave girl cooks, slave girls cook the dinners. Servi kibos portan, the slaves carry the foods. Matres canes emun, the mothers buy the dogs. Right? So now we're able to change our direct objects, our accusative direct objects from singular into their plural forms. Okay, so we can have now both singular subjects, plural subjects, and singular direct objects and plural direct objects. All right? And you'll notice the singular direct objects all share this M while the plurals all have this S in their ending. Now you've got to be careful because some singular nominatives have S's in their endings, all right? But for the most part, if you see an S, you're probably looking at a, an S ending on a noun. You're probably looking at some sort of a plural accusative direct object. You have a better chance of that, all right? So if we were to draw out just the endings, this is what it would look like. First declension, remember the first declension always has those A's in the right for, in, somehow in their ending. So A, singular nominative subject. A, E, uh, plural nominative subject. A, M, singular, no, singular accusative direct object. A, S, plural accusative direct object, okay? Second declension. Right. U.S. singular nominative subject. Sometimes a few R's. We talked about some of those exceptions, like puer and we're. Uh, I plural nominative subject. U.M. singular accusative direct object. O.S. so the U changes to an O. Plural accusative direct object. Third declension. Singular. Variety of things. It could end in an O like Grumio or Leo. It could end in an S like Canis. It could end in an R like Mater or Pater. All right, there's a variety of endings in the third declension. So that's why we include the dash here. But that's for the singular nominative subject. But then everything becomes standard for the rest. The plural nominative subject is an ES. EM is our singular accusative direct object. ES is our plural accusative direct object. And you'll notice these look the same. So you have to be careful about them in the sentences. And remember that a lot of Latin sentences, especially in the Red Book, will run with nominative first, accusative next, and then your verb. Okay? So it, this is not always going to be the case. But for right now, use this as a hint and as a help as you go, as you translate your sentences and trying to determine is, the, is it our subject or is it our direct object, okay? And remember, the S is going to be common across all of your accusative plurals, all right? So these sentences here that I have on this side of the board, memorize these sentences. They will give you an example of all the cases, all right? and uses of our nouns that we know up to this point. Ankila kenam quoquit, servus kibum porta, mater canem enet, all right? And we'll, we'll keep adding to these sentences as we talk more about nouns. So that's all I have for the plural accusatives. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below or ask them in class. Uh, and thanks for watching and wallet.